Hi there, this is Simon and welcome back to another video where I'm going to share with you some hints and tips about how to use OBS to improve your online teaching through Skype and through Zoom. And in this video, I want to tell you how you can create a virtual whiteboard of a kind. Now, uh, one way to get the most out of OBS is to simply be inventive with what you've got. So, of course, there are virtual white pro uh, whiteboard programs out there that you can pay for, you can find for free, but you can actually do it yourself with what you've already got. So, if we bodge Microsoft Word, for example, we can do exactly the same thing. So, if I open up um, a page of Word, and if I resize the Word page using OBS, so if I select the display capture, which is my monitor, and I make this a lot bigger, and then reposition it on screen, I'll move OBS out of the way, and straight away behind me, I've got a virtual whiteboard of a kind. Now, with a little bit of imagination, I can do lots of different things with this. So in Word, and of course, now the student can't see what I'm doing with Word. So I'm opening up different menu options right now. I'm choosing different things. The student isn't focusing on what I'm doing. The student is focusing just on that white screen behind me. Now this is really useful to not distract your student. So first thing I want to do, if I can navigate there, is to uh, open up a text box. Now everything is in Polish, so it does take me a little bit of time to get used to it. Okay, so if I open up a text box and I can write down here information, answers, then I can move this around and I can put this wherever I like. So I can even, as you can see there, I can even move it off the screen so the student can't see it. So then I can drag it back in and use it later on if I need to. Let me just move that across so you can see it. I can also drag in uh, images if I want to do that. So let's bring in an image. So this is an image of the PDF document, uh, but I can bring in other images if I want to talk about other things. So for example, if I just bring in this image here, I could talk about this wonderful bush in my, uh, in my garden, or I could more seriously bring in pictures to discuss in terms of FCE, CAE, compare and contrast, that kind of thing, and I can drag them off again. So you can see here with a little bit of imagination, we can use uh, Microsoft Word or any other word processing package as a form of mo uh, virtual whiteboard. I hope this has been helpful to you. If you've got any questions about this video or indeed if you've got any other problems using OBS to teach online, leave a comment below and I'll try to produce content to help you out. Okay, I'll see you soon.